for joining me and watching my video now uh, i want to discuss an interesting topic with you which i believe you will so much enjoy kindly take your time sit tight you can even take a pen to jot down some of the important points or otherwise you can come back to the video later and take i mean i mean to take some of the vital points that you want to take note what exactly i want to discuss with you is something very very important and it's all about your health that is what immunity i know some of you have heard the word immunity and you don't really know what is it all about but i want to go i will be more specific because it's a large i mean area of things that we are going to discuss but uh, i want to be specific on how you can strengthen or boost your immunity don't forget, we are passing through a very critical period with this uh, COVID-19 I mean, uh, infections that is ravaging all over the world. So, one of the things that were identified by scientists and by healthcare professionals is the immunity on how to build immunity. You have to build a very strong immunity. Now, what is immunity? What does it mean? Immunity is the capacity of multicellular organisms to resist harmful microorganisms. The immune system protects your body from foreign invaders such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, and anything that has to involve or it, it, it involves a toxins. Now, when your body is able to resist a foreign microorganism that causes disease condition, most especially by preventing the development of a pathogenic microorganism, then it means that your body is well immune. You have a good immune system. There are basically two types of immunity. We have the active immunity and the passive immunity. I am not going to bother you about the details of these two types of immunity because that is not the purpose of this particular video. I am still going to discuss it in another video. Now, how can you strengthen your immune system? How? If I ask you, as you are watching me right now, how can you, as an individual, strengthen your immune system? I'm going to give you some seconds to think about it. Just a few seconds. How can you boost your immune system? Now, the second is over now. I hope you already have your answer because I know at the beginning of this program, of this video, I told you to take your pen. Definitely, this is one of the challenges that I have for you. Take your pen, do some little exercise. Now, I'm, exp I'm waiting for you to tell me how do you boost your own immune system? What do you do particularly to boost your immune system? Now, without wasting much of our time, there is no magic in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple actually it's very simple and then it's as simple as abc it is things those are the things that you know but you overlook them you think is it this is it that but they are very very simple things now i know some of you will also ask another question before i answer the previous question the question will now be why do we need to strengthen or boost our immunity since our body produces this immunity naturally then we should leave our body to do its work <laughs> we should leave it to our body to regulate it to do the normal thing that it's doing after all the body is the one that is producing this immune system then you know the body knows how to regenerate or um, uh, yeah this to, to, to strengthen the immune system you are absolutely correct yes because the immune system is in our body so you're absolutely correct our body produces it but the answer it's very simple, I mean to this particular question, is that sometimes our immune system also fails to fight this microorganism. I hope 
I know this is indirect answer to that to the question. So it means that if our body sometimes fails to fight immune, I mean this foreign microorganism, what should we do next? Now let me now come back to the major point that I want us to discuss, which is how do you boost your immune system? Now I identified eight healthy lifestyle that can boost your immune system. Eight healthy lifestyle. One, do not smoke. I know some of you will not be challenging and be saying, "Do not smoke." Is it possible for me not to smoke? Or oh, come on, I'm not. It's a lifestyle. It means that when we are talking about lifestyle, you decide whether you accept it or not. But scientifically and rationally, this is what it means that do not smoke to have a strong immune system. So if you decide to continue to smoke, <laughs> it's left for you to decide. Number two, eat diet rich in fruits and vegetables. So you should eat diet that is very rich in fruits and vegetables. These are major sources of ingredients that is going to come around and boost your immune system. Regular exercise, number three. You have to do the exercise regularly. You cannot see that these are the simple, simple things that we know, but we overlook them and say, oh, come on, which type of exercise? You don't have time for exercise. But it's going to assist, it's going to boost, it's one of the things that can boost your immune system. Don't forget, what does immunity means? Ability for, of your body to fight any foreign microorganism. Let me just use it simply. Ability of your body to fight any invading foreign microorganism coming to your body. It means that as we are living all around, there are microorganisms all around flying here and there but they are looking for a host we are the hosts so in order for them to be live alive they need a host that they can feed upon so they want to come inside your body and feed upon you using your cells your blood and things like that so it means that you as a person externally you don't see what is happening internally until you fall sick, now say it means something is wrong within my system. Now, number four, maintain a healthy weight. This will still take us back to number two, eat diet rich in fruit and I mean uh, and vegetables. So you need to maintain a healthy weight. We are all aware that we all know that somebody that has overweight is exposed is at high risk of all these disease conditions cardiovascular problems and once you have problem with cardiovascular disease condition it means um, your immune system is at risk as well have enough sleep have enough sleep is going to assist to boost your immunity then number six infection prevention it means you have to do everything to prevent any forms of infection now how do you prevent infection from i mean how do you prevent yourself from contracting infection i'm going to give you just one single tip there are so many ways that we can use i mean to i mean to prevent ourselves from having an infection but i'll just give you one single word that is very common that is very i mean practical that is daily hand washing continuous hand washing you keep on washing your hand regularly when you do something with your hand you use your hand to you wash your hand you do something with your hand you wash your hand you do something with your hand you use your hand then number seven reduce your exposure to stress minimize exposure to stress number eight which is the last one ensure you take all recommended vaccines when there are recommended vaccines make sure you take it vaccines for hepatitis b for hepatitis for tuberculosis uh, for measles for i mean you know children i have all these vaccines that they have to take tetanus vaccine all these form of vaccines they are very very essential to keep your immune system i mean immune system strong when you have all these things going to assist your immune system now if you follow all these recommendations you are strengthening your immunity by doing so you have a high percentage of not getting infected 
quote me well oh, and try to understand me you have a high percentage of not getting infected now let's now assume that at the end of the day you finally got infected it means that your immune system that you've been building will be able to combat this external microorganism that is coming in be it micro i mean a uh, bacteria virus fungi or toxins now let me just before i end this particular video let me just share a little i mean a life experience of someone this person is a healthcare professional he, he was exposed to i mean he, he was treating attended to patient that had covid 19 since it started um some months after almost close to a year he just decided because he never had these symptoms he never had any signs so he was so healthy he was so functional he goes to work every i mean regularly and so then he just decided that come on let me try to even do a test so he did a test the result came out it was analyzed in the result that the source tree of what do you call it covid 19 in his blood <laughs> They saw some, I mean, uh, they saw it in his blood. So, what does it mean? It means that he's, he, he's, he already had, he already contacted, I mean, contracted the virus, maybe while attending to the patient, but he never presented any symptoms. It, it, and he was never sick. So I think at the end of the, some, I, he also mentioned that at the point in time, he used to have slight headache, tiredness, that's all. But they were just slight lighting that you even usually happen when you're stressed out. So it confirmed that there were traces of COVID-19 in his bloodstream. But his immune system was able to overcome, I mean, this virus. He was able to, to, to combat this virus. So what does it mean? It means that you need to build your immune system. Thank you for watching. Bye.